Welcome to Voices from the Bench, a dental laboratory podcast. Send us an email at info at voicesfromthebench.com or look for us on Facebook at Voices from the Bench. Greetings and welcome to episode 230 of Voices from the Bench. My name is Elvis. My name is Barbara. Morning. Good morning. We are recording super early (laughs) on an odd Thursday. I'm actually in Louisville. Louisville. It's Friday. It is. Oh my gosh. See, that's how bad it is. Yeah, I know. I have no idea. It's been a nasty week. Super crazy. It has been crazy. I've been traveling all over the place. I really, I don't know what day it is. That's hilarious. (laughs) Well, it's Friday all day, so you got a weekend to recover. Absolutely. How's everything going with you? You guys busy? Um, yes, we are very busy. And of course, I'm training and I'm kind of over it. I got to be honest. Double duty every day of working out. It's kind of getting old. So we're a week away, which I'm happy about and I'm ready. So do you taper before? Yeah. Do next... you have that to look forward to? Yeah. I swam last night and ran the night and I just, I'm just kind of over it. I want to just be it. a runner for a while. Oh, man. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, like you mentioned, Race for the Future, it's this weekend. So, if you are in the Chicago area or you're just dying to travel for some free dental education, head over to the dentallabfoundation.org. That link not only will tell you about the half day event this weekend on August 27th and the triathlon on the 28th. It's also the same link that allows you to donate to the good cause of raising the education in our industry, but also supporting Barb doing the Chicago Triathlon. How much are you up to? 8,000. Oh, you did? You got there. Nice. Yes, I did. Let's keep it going. Yeah, my dad gave me $200 cash and that put me over. So, (laughs) yeah. Nice. Nice. Also, I will note that if you donate, Barb and I promise to stop talking about the triathlon. Which is, is going to be over next week anyway, so we'll stop talking about it. But money helps. <laughs> Unless, of course, I die, and then we'll be talking about it for a while. Then we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> I'm not going to die. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. Lake Michigan. Yep. It's cool. It's just like an ocean. Yep. So back in late July, I got to attend one of my favorite dental meetings, Ladies of the Mill. Now, unfortunately, Barb, you I were know. not there. Well, I was at the beach. You were at the beach, some stupid pre-scheduled family event. Mm -hmm. You decided to hang out with your real family rather than your (laughs) dental family, and I understand. Yep. Kind of. But for those lucky enough to attend this meeting, you already know how fantastic it was. But for those that didn't get a chance to attend, I was actually able to record a few people while I was at the Preet booth. And this episode is our first collection. First up is Carrie Ling. She came to Nashville all the way from Texas, where her and her husband own and operate Lifelike Dental Studio. Carrie talks about their lab and working closely with her husband. As we know, that's kind of a weird dynamic you have to deal with. No thanks. Yeah, no thanks indeed. And then we chat with two ladies from one of our favorite husband and wife labs, Renstrom Dental Studios. But I didn't talk to the owners this time. We talk to them at every Lab Day Chicago. This time, we talked to two employees of theirs, Sandra Nohava and Courtney Bennett, come on to talk about their history, working for such a great lab, and why they come to Ladies of the Mill. And then we wrap up this episode with an epic Ladies Take Over the Podcast. I asked five past guests and good friends if they'd be willing to record themselves without me or Barb on this recording. (laughs) Yeah, they jumped at the idea. So I set everything up, and I walked away. I didn't hear it until I edited it a few days later, and I have to tell you, it's amazing. All right. So the lineup of this group is Danny Ferrego, who took the role of guest host, and she had a conversation with Mackenzie Mayer and Janelle Tabakovich, who are the denture babes. Good job with the name, bro. I know, I know. Yeah, she'll be impressed. Nina Frikaten and Katie Boatler. Nice. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a huge lineup. They talk about what they're up to, why Ladies of the Mill is so important to them, what they would like to see at other shows, and really just the importance of encouraging each other. Okay, here we go. So join us with 
Carrie Ling, Sandra Nahava, Courtney Bennett, Danny Farrago, Mackenzie Mayer, Janelle Tabakovich, Nina Freakington, and Katie Bowler. Wow. Uh, it's a full house. Partner. Holy moly. The Asiga Max, the world's most advanced lab 3D printer, offers exceptional productivity. Well over 400 labs in the U.S. can attest to its accuracy, speed, and precision. With the 62 micron print precision, the Max is optimized for both the dental lab or the clinical environment. Its exclusive SPS smart positioning system technology guarantees that every single layer is formed accurately resulting in consistent results in any environment. And its single point calibration makes calibration extremely accurate and fast. As an open material system, you can print any suitable resin from any material manufacturer. Your choice, no strings. The Max also features the fastest material changeover of any 3D printer. Labs love this change completely from one print resin to another in under 30 seconds, which is really amazing because you and I both know how hard that is. All of this and the finest, most dependable technical support staff in the dental lab industry. Call Whitmix today or visit Whitmix.com to find out more about the Asiga Max. And as always, we appreciate your support of the podcast, Whitmix. Voices from the Bench. The interview. We are live from the LM. No. <laughs> we it are live L-O-M. from L-O-M-T. L-O-M-T. Ladies of the Mill, 2022 from Nashville. I am here with the Carrie Ling, who we talked to your husband, Chris. God, that was probably the first Texas meeting. Really? Wow, 2019 maybe? Mm, maybe. He was on. Yep. Now here you are. Here I am. Tell me about yourself. We've owned the lab for 17 years. So lifelike dental studio yep. in Texas. Yep. You guys were together before you opened it? Yes. We've been married for 28 years. You guys have been married 28 years? 28 years. Did you guys get married when you were 12? <laughs> yeah, I was 19. Wow. You guys Chris were young. Chris was 24. Yeah. Yep. You guys were young. Yep. Yeah. So were you in the lab? Was he already in a lab when you guys got married? Neither one of us were in a lab. Really? Yep. Uh, We were both in college, Okay. and he was going to University of North Texas, and he was studying radio, television, film with a minor in photography. Oh, aspirations to be a director. Oh, yeah, that's what he was all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And reality hit after graduation. (laughs) (laughs) He went to work for a TV station. Okay. As a cameraman, making absolutely nothing. Sure, sure. What were you doing, still in school? Yeah, I was going to school and working as a nanny. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. No kids or anything. And then we were married for two years. I got pregnant with our first daughter, right? And life needed to change a little bit because we needed to have some money. Yeah. So he uh, went to work for a company trying to get into their marketing department. And uh, it was a factory job, and he just absolutely hated it. Yeah. He ended up answering an ad in our local um, newspaper for a position for someone that had a bachelor's degree with an art kind of major or minor and his was and film yeah, film and photography uh, right yep. so he went and did an interview with the guy and the guy ended up having a dental lab and he went to work for him and the rest is history so i imagine this dental lab was looking for more artsy yep. hands-on yep. sculpture painting art not yep. film right that's right but yet he still got in he got in and well yep. and he well he uh little thing about Chris is he loves to paint and do art, okay. and he's really good at it. He won't tell you that, but yeah. he's really good at it. So yeah. he thought this was right up his alley. He nice. He took the job, and... And he came home to tell you, I got this job, and what did you think? Well, we had to move in with my parents because oh. the job paid so little, but the oh. guy but the guy was like... Less than a cameraman? It, it was less than a cameraman, oh. starting out, because Chris had no experience, and the yeah. guy said, for every new skill you learn, I'll raise you a dollar an hour. Oh. And so Chris said, I think I can do this. In about six months, I could be making pretty good money. So we moved in with my parents for six months, and he really learned it, took off really quickly. And, and the owner was good on that yeah, one. Yeah, he was yeah. great on it. Yeah, he did a great job. Nice. So which lab was this? So this was working for John Rice um, in Salado, Texas. It was just a little bitty lab they okay. had in his backyard. And so he did that. And then he worked for John for several years, and then he got an opportunity to move to a bigger lab. Yep. He worked for that lab for several years. Yep. And then we At decided. At this point, you're still not in it. Right. I'm still not in yep. it. Nope. 
And then I started encouraging him because the, the lab that he was working at had a lot of doctors calling asking for his work. Oh, you know? yeah. oh, we really just want this technician. We want to be his, you know. So I said, you should really think about going out on your own and doing this. You could do it. And he, he was like, I can't. I'm not a people person. Mm. I can't talk to the doctors. Yeah. It makes me too nervous. And so then I took that on um, myself. And I went out and started getting accounts. And So, okay, so you decided to open up your own lab. Yep. Where did it start? Your house? Yeah, we had a portable building in our backyard. A portable building? Yeah, a little is portable building. What like is, is that like a, a trailer park? Is that no, it was like a little <laughs> shed, like a little metal building okay. Okay, in our backyard. And No um, air conditioning? No, we had a window unit in it. Oh, wow. And it was just Chris and I. We had three kids at the time. Oh, wow. And so we worked literally around the clock. He would wake up in the morning and go out and start everything. I'd get the kids to school or daycare. Then I would come in and then I would work until time to pick the kids up with him. And then I would make dinner, put the kids to bed. I'd go back out. We worked around the clock. So did he teach you all yep. the things? Yep. And what were you, just Crown and Bridge only? Or? Yeah, we are just Crown and Bridge. We're still okay. just Crown and Bridge. So, so how did it start? Uh, did you get a, a mill? Was it, or is this pre-mill days? Oh, this days? is pre-mill. Wait for it. I oh, didn't yeah. want to assume We've years. We've been around 18 <laughs> years. Okay. So, so we opened, yeah. So so in the shed, you're casting? Yeah, we're doing everything. Yep. Oh, wow. So yeah. what did you do? Model work? I started with model work, yep. you know, pickup and delivery, model work, yep, that kind yep. of stuff. And then uh, we thought we had a business plan. We, yep. didn't, we didn't know. We had a business plan. We went. We thought we we're going to be in this portable building for about three years. We'll build up our business. I had no idea that it was going to be instantly like, hey, here's work. Let's go. It, it grew that quick. Yeah, really quickly. Yeah. So within the first, I don't know, three months, we needed a building. Yeah. So and, and three months. Yeah, three months in. You're out of the shed. We're out of the shed. We're <laughs> nice. in a building. Yeah, and we re rented a building for a little while, and then within the first year, we purchased a building. So, have you grown in employees during this, or is it just you two at this no, point? No, well, at the, at the beginning, it was just us, and we hired a person that worked in our little shed with us. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. She came How's every that day. that for an worked, awkward? Yeah, it was. It was really. You know, you do what you do what you have to do. <laughs> And then when we started if renting. you guys all sat down, we were all your backs touching? <laughs> well, we couldn't all three be in at the same time. There could only be two people in there at one time. <laughs> That's hilarious. And we had to wall off this little corner that could be Chris's porcelain area so we could keep it, you know, clean, clean yeah. and dust free. And we built this wall and, and he would to work behind up. the wall and <laughs> had this tiny desk and yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So Humble you, beginnings. Yeah. Is the shed still there? Um, I don't know. I'm. Probably. I mean, we sold the house. Oh, you've you know. moved yeah, out of the moved. house. Okay. Yeah, we moved okay. from there. Yep. Okay. So okay. So now you own a building. Yep. How many employees are you up to at There's this point? There's seven. Oh, now, right now we have seven. Seven. But yeah, when we bought the building, there was um, three of us. Yep. When we bought the building. The original lady that yep. Yep. you hired at the shed yep. came with you. Yes. She was yes. growing and enjoying the yes. <laughs> amenities of an actual building. Yes. Nice. And we hired a couple other guys, and they came in and helped us get the building set up and do all the equipment. And so, yeah. So what do you do now? What do I do? My yeah. role? Well, I manage the laboratory. Okay. I handle all the accounts with the doctors, all the employee sides of it, all the scheduling, you know, all of that stuff. Sure. So sure. Do you go out and do sales for it? You know, Elvis, we've been really fortunate that we, have ha to? we have not had to do go out and get accounts since we initially opened. Our, our accounts are word of mouth. Our doctors That's awesome. send doctors to us. And we've really built our entire model on just having a, a reputation and a relationship with our doctors. Yeah. So S are you busy right now? Very busy. Very busy. Yes. Like, are you looking to expand locations again, or are you pretty set? No, I don't want to expand locations, but I sure could use technicians. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody, right? Hey, anybody everybody. in uh, Texas looking, <laughs> yeah. go work at Lifelike Dental yeah, Studios. Yeah, we could use them. Yeah, I think Chris reached out to me asking me if I knew He did. I was, yeah. That was my idea. I was like, hey, you should ask Elvis because hey. maybe he knows somebody. <laughs> yeah, you never know who reaches it's out hard, to me. Yeah. You never know. It's tough. So everyone that you've hired in, have you had to train them off the street, or were they pre-trained? Or We've had some mixes of that. Okay. So we've had some people who've come from other labs come to work for us. Sure. Um, and then we've had some that we've hired and trained. Yeah. So where in Texas are you exactly? We're in Temple, Texas. Temple. Is that a big area or mm. a lot of labs in the area? No, not a lot of labs. Good. Which is part of, well, it's good, but it's also a problem because there's you, you don't, don't have, yeah. yeah, you don't have text and you don't, I wish we had a big, you know, area of people that we could You need an from. NDX next door that yeah. everybody leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, but. <laughs> we don't have that going on where we are, so uh, it's, it's hard to find technicians, but, you know. Yeah. 
You do what you can. Absolutely. So, ladies of the mill, you were here last year. No, I, this is my first Why? time. Why you were yeah, here? Yeah, I didn't last get to come year? last year. No. Oh, so, what do you think? I, th I think it's amazing. I think it's so great to be in a room filled with so many women who are passionate about what they love. Yep. And it's really empowering. Yeah. 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 You're gonna be a lifer now. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm. I'm back next year for sure. Yeah. You know, I. I wanted to come last year. I just found out about it. And um, when I was at Visions 21, and yep. somebody was mentioning it, and like, oh, you should go, you should that go. That was probably me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, I don't have time to leave work and do this. And now I realize that I need to make the time to do that. Yeah. So. so what did you have to do in order to come here? Did you have to get someone else to handle what you do in the lab? Did you have to, like, train somebody or just, like, for a day? Out, it's not well, you done. know, you have, you have to work ahead. I had to plan ahead, right? Yep. So everything that has to be scheduled or everything that's going out, I'm in charge of all of that at the lab. So I had to get everything pre ready to go out. I have all my lists together for other yep. people to be able to make sure that it goes wow. where it's supposed to go. But yeah, I have a great team and a great staff. So nice. So what's next for your guys' lab? You guys, that's terrible. <laughs> Let me start over. What's next for your lab? You know, I wish I knew that. Yeah? Is <laughs> that how be, you guys roll? Wouldn't it be awesome if we could already predict what's going to happen? You had a business plan <laughs> 18 did. years ago. You know, it was really. Does it not still <laughs> no, apply today? it's totally today? different, right? It's totally <laughs> different. Yeah, I don't know. Everything's changing so quickly in yeah. this industry. And I was just having a conversation at lunch with one of the ladies, and we were talking about how much it's changed from analog to digital. And, you know, even just two years ago, what those numbers look like versus yeah, now. Absolutely. And so to try to predict what's coming, I, I just don't know. Yeah. But you're in it for the long I'm haul. in it. We're in it. We've yeah. invested and we're in and we hope that, you know, everyone sticks with us and we just work it out. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much oh, for talking thank you. today. Thanks I for having me. I appreciate you. And I'm sure I'll see you at the next meeting. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. Joining us at Ladies of the Mill 2022, we have two technicians from yes. Renstrom Dental Studio. Yes. We love the Renstrom family. Us love too. Love them. Yes. So we have Sandra Nohava. Nohava, yes. Nohava. I she did, did it, it right. well. And Courtney Bennett. Yes. So who wants to go first? San Sandra. Sure. Might just well. Yeah. How'd you get in the industry? Well, um, it's kind of a fluke. Uh, fluke? Yeah. Not I an accident, a fluke. Just kind of a fluke. <laughs> I was a junior in high school. Okay. And so, so it's been a long about four years time. Ago, yeah. yeah, just a, about nobody four can, years nobody ago. Nobody can see us. I'll, I'll, get uh, you. I'll take yeah. that. And let me see. I was going to 916, which is vocational school. Okay. And I was going to be a medical secretary. Ooh. And after about two months of typing like 25 letter words, yep. I decided I cannot do this for the rest of my life. I get you. So my best friend was in the dental technician nice. class. Yep. And she says, well, you like working with your hands. Why don't you come on in and give it a try? So which school is this? Uh, it was a vocational school close to St. Paul. Okay, so Minnesota. in, in yeah. Minnesota. Yep. Yeah, and uh, within a couple of weeks, I absolutely fell in love with it. Nice. And not to date myself, but it was over 40 years ago. Okay. So I've been in the business for a long time. Wow. So what did they teach at this school back then? Was everything. it just fixed or did nope. they also teach removal? Everything. Remove? Yeah. It was full service. So we started out at, with models and we worked through Crown and Bridge, porcelain, yep. dentures, yep. partials, everything. Yep. Um, and when I got Lots out of Lots of digital, I imagine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Scanners, yeah, all sorts of, we yeah. Were, printing, milling. You know, when yeah. you, <laughs> it was like that kind of with the one plug um, typewriter yeah, type, yeah, yeah. type thing, you know. <laughs> so from there, I went on into a... Uh, Kind of a family-owned lab. Okay. And then got a certification in Crown Bridge. The CDT. Crown CDT. Bridge. Nice. A couple of years later, I did uh, porcelain. Nice. And a um, couple laboratories later sure. with Frenstrom, and I absolutely love it. They're an awesome, awesome couple yeah, to work for. Yeah, they are. They're, they're amazing yeah, people. So yeah. what do you do now? Ceramics? I'm ceramics. So you mm -hmm. do all the staining, glazing? Everything. 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 Um, I do diagnostic wax-ups. Yep. Uh, build, contour, stain and glaze, uh, full mouth reconstructions, implants. Wow. Uh, just you stayed up on it. Absolutely everything. Yeah. And in my... Well, I guess I said I do uh, diagnostic wax yep. ups. Yeah, yeah. Face planning. You guys do a lot of those. Yeah, we do. And you hand wax them or do you digital? Both. So, are you into digital now? Are you on a computer? Oh yeah. No uh, myself, no. No. No, that's Courtney's area. Yep. 
yeah. But you don't touch um, the computer. I don't touch the computer. Have um, they tried to move you to the computers? No. No. No, not I'm yet. I'm just wondering if you were one of those uh, technicians that refused? No. Or I, I would like to try. Yeah? But you're I, needed on everything I'm else. I'm not as good with a computer as I probably should be. Yeah. Uh, but I do go, go in and check the designs do you? with That's the designers. Yeah. Yeah, all of the ceramics that we have there go in, and we kind of work together yep. with our designers to make sure it's what we want. Nice. That's important. Yeah, it doesn't it happen really enough is. in most lives. <laughs> no. They just let it go. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's fantastic. We've got a great working relationship between the departments. And So how many people yeah. are at this lab? I forget. They keep I growing. I believe we're up to 50 now. 50. Mm -hmm. Probably when I talked to them in February, they had 30-something. <laughs> I mean, every time you blink, they have, like, a ton of more people. Prior to COVID, They're it was 30, and now we're... Now we're up to 50. That's so awesome. It is. It's That's just a awesome. fantastic expansion. Yeah. Courtney, yeah. what's yes. your story? How did you get sucked into this place? It was <laughs> not meant to be a lifelong choice. Yeah. I mm -hmm. went to college for a year. My best Four. friend, psychology. Oh, well, that works in the dental lab, by yeah. the way. <laughs> if you have a degree in psychology, you understand us a little bit yes, more. Yes, yeah. I try to anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one so year. So my best friend and her mom worked at a dental lab. Oh, okay. And I decided school was not for me. Yeah. And I came home, and I thought, I'll work there at the dental lab until I figure out what I want to do. Did you have any experience? Exposure to this before from my friend. She Just was the opaker. Oh, your friend in high worked school. there. Okay. Yes. So I would go and sit and talk with her while she did opaking. But you didn't really. I didn't think anything of That's it. That's hilarious. Right. Yeah. And then that was in '99. I started. '99. Okay. Yeah. So 20 plus years. Also. Yep. All taught on the bench. No schooling. Correct. I wish. There would have been schooling. I yeah. mean, learning hands-on, I think, is a really good way to learn. Yeah. But schooling would have been nice. Okay. Yeah. So what did you start doing? Doing like your friend, doing the opaque? No, nope, I started in the model room. Oh, uh, the model room yes. start. Yep. We all know how that is. Yep. And I did removable and fix. It was oh, just really? me and another guy. And we would just take turns like, you're doing removable today. I'm doing fixed. So that was really nice to get to know both sides. Sure. And sure. at that time, I think I fell in love with it. And I was like, I cannot believe somebody's paying me to do this. <laughs> you know? I get to play with mud and dirt. I love yes, it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So how long were you in the model room? I think only a year. And then I started opaquing. Yeah. And then moved into ceramics. Yep. And then digital technology came along in 2003 where, for the company I worked for. Which the lab you were at then, yeah. Yeah. So would then, they get, would they get a forte or? A it was an or? independent company who was trying to make digital software. Well, they did. So at first, we would just scan dyes and make copings. Yep. Cast them, opaque them. Then we'd scan them again to make a crown top for them. I wonder why this system didn't stick around. Oh gosh, it was so <laughs> tedious. <laughs> That sounds terrible. Yes. So that company ended up buying us and eventually went corporate, which is when I met Sandy. The software company bought the lab? Yes. Oh. And then they ended up buying Sandy's lab. Yep. Then we, we merged, so we were at the same company for, for quite, a, quite yeah. a few years. Yes. And then I ended up leaving that company. Well, you had, I think you left first. I think so, too. Because and of the corporate atmosphere? Or correct. Yeah, I get yeah. you. Yeah. 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 And then a couple years later, I had left that company and came to Renstrom. So where did you go? To Renstrom? Nope. I went to a different lab. How many labs are up there? Oh, there's a lot. A Is lot. Is there really? Yeah. 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 The same Paul area. Yeah. There are a I've lot. I've never been up there. I'm mm -hmm. trying to get up there. But. There's a lot of them. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yep. then a couple years later, Courtney ended up at Renstrom. Yep. And... So we get to work together again. Yeah, so we've like known each other circle. for like yes, yeah. 15 years. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I yeah. And you is. still like each other. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I love her to death. She's just awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. How did you find out about Renstrom? 
were they advertising? Were you just giving it a shot? Both of you. I mean, how did well, Sandy was for there myself? First. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had taken a little sabbatical. Yeah. Um, Good for you. I had taken about a month or so off, and oh, only a month or yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant yeah. like a couple no, years. No, no, no. Traveled I had the just world. Taken, and well, for me that was a with the long dolphins. time. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there was another gal that I had worked with at a previous company, and she called me up and. She said, we've got a ceramist that's leaving. If you're interested, why don't you come on in? Because yeah. they're really looking for a ceramist. So, of course, I jumped on yeah, it. Yeah, sure. It's only seven minutes from my house. Oh, nice. And it, w- I, um, You must have driven by this lab a million I times. I drove by it a million times and never knew it was there. It was about a half a block off yeah. the main road, and I just never knew it was there. That's funny. And it saved me about a 40-minute drive. Oh, that's so everything I right didn't there. even have to get on the freeway. Yeah. Seriously, it was seven minutes from my house. Probably in those cold Minnesota, your car doesn't even warm up. It didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but the, blow, the blower just starts to go by the time yeah. I get there. <laughs> and uh, so I went in, and we hit it off, and I started there, you know, a couple of weeks later. Yeah. And been there for five years now, and I cannot... I c- absolutely cannot think of going anywhere else. Yeah, it's just, it's just an awesome place to work. And did you, f- because of her? No, from no. a different mutual coworker. Because there's so many tight knit technicians in Minnesota. There really yeah. are. There really are. That's insane to me. It's well, great. Well, the yeah. corporate lab that we merged with yeah. had like five labs that merged together. Sure. And then those dental technicians know other dental technicians, and it just kind of goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. So at my last job. Do you guys have a support meeting that meets like every <laughs> Tuesday or something? We should. <laughs> well, they have a little thing called the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sorry. You no, that's okay. Yeah. So a different coworker of yep. mine said that they needed a digital designer and would I be interested in leaving the company I was working for? And I was like, oh, I don't know. But they had changed my job. I had gone back to ceramics and I wanted to be in digital. I'm like, you know what? Worst thing that could happen is if I go in, I'm going to have a gut feeling if I want so to work there or not. The lab you're at wanted you to go to ceramics. Yes. You wanted to go digital? I was in digital. You're in digital. And you then somebody in ceramics left. And because you had that talent, they're like, put you yeah. over there. We'll teach somebody else the computer. Yes. But you wanted to stay on the computer. Yes. And the other lab offered you this, and that was Rinstrom. Yes. Yeah. And I went in there, and I was like, yep. <laughs> it's a fit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so who did you interview with when you guys went there? Scott. Scott? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was he a hard mm-hmm. Yeah, you know him. Huh? <laughs> I know. I'm know just him. joking. I know well. <laughs> no, oh, no, he's yeah. super nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and very like casual. Like, why don't you design a crown? And I'm gonna check some stuff out, and yeah. I'll look at your design. So, <laughs> it was super easy. Yeah. What's the culture like there? Everyone get along? Everything's just like. Well, I think they've worked really hard to get a group of people that, and it's just gonna sound cliche or sure whatever. But I think they've worked really hard to get a group of people that work really well together. Yeah. It's you important. Know, it is. It yes. is really important. Yeah. Um, and it started with, with uh, Randy's dad, Randall. Yeah. And Rick, the old owners. And that's who was still owning it or running it when I started. Do they still pop in? Oh, yeah. Rick Do is they? still there. He's oh, still really? at the bench. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's never away from the bench. I yes. love those old owners that just yeah. won't give up. I no. love them. Yeah. And Randall comes in all the time and just... I think if you lived closer, you'd probably be there a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I go to labs the all the time, and I'll go into one, and I'll meet the owner, and he goes, yeah, that's my dad over there, and this old guy will raise his hand. Yeah. He's like, I'm over here just grinding away. You yeah, know. Well, he has the biggest smile, and he comes and checks on stuff all the time, but Rick is still there all the time. And that's awesome. Now I'm with Randy and, and Scott buying it, but I, I really think they've gotten a really super fantastic yeah. team together, and we help each other out. Yeah. We, we're all on the same page. That's and awesome. I it haven't really worked is. at a lab that felt so much like a team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. rare. And it is super rare. Yes. Labs will tell you that they do, but they, they don't. Right. No. And I think we've each been in, what, at least four labs yes. now, each one of us. And you can really feel it there. And you yeah. feel it when you walk in the door. Sure. Mm-hmm. I really truly believe that you feel it. As a vendor, I can feel it when I walk in the do door. Do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. it's true. I mean, I mean, it's not like I walk in, I can like tell you the exact <laughs> dynamic. <and laughs> no, like, oh, that guy, you know. But if it's good, you can feel it. If yes. it's terrible, you can feel it. Yeah, the middle's a gray, but you mm-hmm. get a sense. 
totally. when you've been around a, a while, you can definitely tell the difference. And totally, you know, it, it's true. Yep. So is this both of your first time at Ladies of the Mill? My first time. I was, was here, here last. Year. Were you here last year? Yep. I remember. Just kidding. I, don't <laughs> I was way too scared to talk to you last year. Yeah. Well, now here you are. What's changed? I think. Alcohol? No. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wouldn't do this unless I had a cocktail, and I haven't had one yet. Oh, so. really? <laughs> Couldn't tell. I thought you were half under. No. Uh, coming to Ladies of the Mill last year. It was awesome. I was scared. It was out of my comfort zone. Was it your first dental meeting? Yeah, pretty really? much. I mean, that wasn't local, where I could go for the afternoon. Oh, yeah, like the little local afternoon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I decided I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and come. Yeah. And then I was really shy and quiet at my table. Yeah. I didn't talk to vendors. I didn't talk to you. Yeah. And I think I must have gotten some confidence since then yeah. to be able to do this. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Any aspirations speaking on stage someday? No. No. <laughs> Should have seen the look at her face. Like, the look Me? was phenomenal. I don't know. <laughs> the whole reason I get inspired, I come to all these dental shows, and I always wanted to be that person on stage. I, I don't know why. I just okay. wanted to be. Now that I got up there, I don't know if I want to be anymore. But well, you've been there, done that. Maybe people have that aspiration. Yeah. When they see it. Nope, I it's don't fine. think so. It's fine. But who knows? Ten years from now, I might feel different. There you go. Two years from now, I might Next feel different. Next year, you might be different. Next think, how, year. think of this leap you've made this year. Right. So what do you think, Sandra? What do you think of the show? Oh, I love it. Do you? I love it. I've been to a lot of shows yeah. in my life, and, and this is just awesome. How long have you been going to, like, LMT and Lab Day? You've been going to those forever? Well, since 85. Whoa. Yeah. So it's you've been a long time. Them. You probably remember back in the day when they were... In a small room, and everybody was smoking cigarettes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I used to smoke at my bench when I was working. Yeah. So that's, it gives you an idea how long that was. Yeah. It. Uh, so, but this is just awesome, and it's so fantastic to see women supporting each other. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It is. It's it is. Cool. And uh, I just can't say enough. Yeah. I really admire the people that have started this, and and everybody here, the vendors, and and everybody that's just supporting this group. Yep. It's, just a, awesome. it's a wonderful group, a wonderful meeting. Mm -hmm. You guys dressing up in the 90s outfit tonight? Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go overboard? You doing Courtney's trying crazy? to talk me into doing some line dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just not sure about that. Wait a minute. Definitely. You'll line dance, but you won't speak? Yeah, dancing is not talking. Yeah, see, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I would rather I talk too. in front of a group than uh, make a fool out of myself. Line no, that in. TikTok dance yeah. was a blast. Was it? I loved it. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> loved it. I think I probably sucked at it, but yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I had fun. I loved it. That's the important part. Just so, have fun. I wish you were in front of me. I would have probably followed you because I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Super fun. My wife took me to an exercise class once. I was so uncoordinated and not doing what everybody else was doing. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. It was hilarious. Oh, that was me this morning. That, <laughs> that was definitely me. I will say, and because this is a, the podcast and nobody saw it, but the She Design team were up on stage, and they were promoting doing a TikTok dance, and they got the whole audience to stand up and do they it. They did. I have been to a million meetings that where that speaker's like, everybody stand up, we're going to do some stretches or whatever. This time, the whole room stood up. I was shocked Is that, that yeah, everybody got up. There wasn't yeah. that, that sour puss over there going, <laughs> everybody was did up. Did you do it? In my mind, I, I was, was back <laughs> here, you know, Watching, Doing watching the stuff, and I did a little, I mean, a little <laughs> twist maybe, but no, not too much, <laughs> not too much. Like I said, it, I would have broken equipment. So. <laughs> Sandra, Courtney, oh. thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank this you. was really awesome. fun. I appreciate yes. you. appreciate you coming on the podcast and just participating in the show and keeping Scott and Randy in check. Well, it was they great. It. it was yeah. great. I was really intimidated and kind of nervous, but... It's easy. It was. It it's was easy. fun. It's fun. Just talk I'm about really yourself glad I did it. We love what we do. I listen to you all the yeah. time. Well, so I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very appreciate much. Thank you. Yes, we're yes. ready. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to Voices from the Bench. I am your temporary host for the evening, Danny Farrago. I uh, was previously on the show, my episode's number 201. I am here with five absolutely beautiful, inspiring intelligent and very talented technicians. I just want to say, first of all, a huge, 
huge thank you to Iva Clar, who yes. flew us out here as their guests, me and Janelle and Mackenzie. Yes. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't have been here without them. No, right? I'm so, so grateful. We are incredibly this has grateful. Been the best time. We are incredibly grateful for the opportunity. It was amazing. The, yeah. it's, it was amazing, and it was an amazing experience. So thank you. Huge shout out to Iva Clar for the opportunity. Yes. And, and with, Laura and Grace, they're amazing. Yeah. And everyone's been so welcoming. And <laughs> everyone's been so welcoming. And it's just felt really good to, like, you know, be inspired. To be a part of this. Yeah. By so many strong women. I mean, let's start by saying how absolutely motivated we all are. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel that, don't you? Don't you yeah. feel like you're going to leave here and just be yeah. 100 times more on fire? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On fire. This yeah. has been a super inspirational weekend. Mm-hmm. Super motivating. We all cried like little b****s. We, oh, cried. Yeah. we yeah. cried. Can we talk about Kelly's presentation? We were okay. all bawling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It was beautiful. Yes. She's so well-spoken. And her story was so moving. We were all in tears. All of us. I didn't see not one woman in that place looking for Kleenex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were, they, it was amazing. They were so <laughs> Kelly presented and she told her story this weekend yes. and it was very moving. It was very motivational. I think it was her first time speaking, which I mean, yes, yes. it's the mm-hmm. first time sharing that story. Yeah. I wouldn't have said it was her first time. It was Me just, neither. Kelly, uh, I know you're listening to this. You did an amazing job and thank you for sharing with us. And uh, we all felt very, very inspired. And we were so proud of you. Yeah. If you guys have amazing. not listened to Kelly's episode, it's 212 on the podcast so you should listen to that that will give you a little shorter version of her story and how she learned her skills and how she progressed from there yeah it was a very very good episode as well so let's move on to nina i'm gonna put you on the spot right now oh god so (laughs) nina just finished her tour with an extent so you want to talk about that well It was quite intense. Uh, seven in seven days, five states. Ooh. So yeah, training every day. It's quite hard actually to speak for eight hours a day. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would not be. It would be very easy, but it was actually really hard. And trying to concentrate and give the best that you can to that group of people for. Yeah, it was a lot in a short amount of period. But I am really super glad I did it because it was such a. An awesome experience. So I hope I'm going to be coming back soon. Real soon. (laughs) And she came here. She finished her tour by coming to this convention. And she presented as well. Yes. Let's talk about that. How, How was the presentation? She presented about photography. Yeah. First, I thought that there would be around... 15 people maximum in the room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, it, was it was a lot packed. more than that. <laughs> like you we had girls. to move in chairs. Yeah. yeah. But when I saw uh, women bringing chairs in and stuff, and I was like, <laughs> oh my God, no, no. no. <laughs> I thought there would be 10 people, you know. But it was. It was I great. Think it was, I, I think it was the hardest thing to have this public uh, speech because I suffer terribly from anxiety, so I struggle with public speaking and Mm -hmm. showcasing myself, but it was so empowering. After I finished, I felt like I just did it. I was so proud of myself, so Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased I had the opportunity to speak and hopefully inspire a couple of amazing texts. You did. A yes. lot of women came up to you and were like, we're going to buy cameras now. Thanks <laughs> yeah. a lot. I might buy a camera now and I never <laughs> thought I would. And I definitely learned things that I didn't know before either. Like I took pictures of every slide. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come home and study that. So that was amazing. Nina, good job. We're all very proud of you. Thank you. Definitely. We all are. Thank it you. was so motivational. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? Like every time I do stuff like this, I come back and I rewind everything. Um, come back home, rewind everything, and I'm thinking, my God, what a, like, I'm so happy that I have all this opportunity right now to come and just be, I hope, an inspiration for young you are like you girls. You're so are. relatable, for one, you know, and you're so approachable and personable, and I think that's really important, because I want to be around you, right? Mm-hmm. We all do. Mm-hmm. You know, you have such a vibe about you. Plus, you're up there just motivating more and more technicians, I think, to get involved, especially young women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Well, that's one of my hopes, so... I think you're I doing great. Do. <laughs> you do. You do. 100%. People wanted to take pictures like, with you. Shy. Think yeah. about it. You thought there was going to be 10 people? There was 50 people. You yeah. thought... You know what I mean? 
Yeah, it's like working. My, my heart is just is like going boom, boom, boom. Just yeah. by thinking about it again, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I think that's also but like very you know, common anxiety in yeah, this. Yeah, but like when you, you know, when I saw you girls there and stuff, and I can have like eye contact with uh, oh, my crew, it yeah. felt like nah, I'm fine, I'm fine, and you know, you're all smiling, you're your little thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I was staring you down. I didn't even blink. My eyes were. Burning. You are. You are quite scary. <laughs> what's going on Danny I'm like Danny I was like, are you okay at, like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to miss a second I was scared to blink so. Yeah. So. I was put on footage patrol by Deepa yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah. Deepa. Deepa we got I some good it. footage for Deepa <laughs> she couldn't be here but I'm sure she wants to know every little detail oh yeah. she was she sent me all those messages and you know sometimes when I struggle with confidence she's the one that will I will say like no I'm struggling a little bit and she would be like woman you are amazing stop <laughs> stop doubting yourself and yeah. Everybody should have a Deepa in their yeah, life. Yeah, shout out to Deepa. She's, yeah. she's always <laughs> yeah. reposting our work and precious. commenting. Yeah. Absolutely precious. Yeah. <laughs> she's I mean, very supportive. Yeah, we all are. And that's kind of what this whole convention is about, right? Yeah. I love Nina's new quote that um, personality is the new professional. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. I'm going to get that tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay, it for feels it. so good. <laughs> right. for, oh, yeah, I have the bangs. I mean, right under the, the bangs. bangs. That's, yeah. yeah, it's easy for you because she was like, I was like, excuse me. I forget I have eyebrows sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Um, so Mackenzie and Janelle have also been on the podcast a uh, couple what num- of times. Oh yeah, well, what number is your episode? Are, oh man, I don't remember my first episode. Babes oh, in that Dentureland. was like number two, wasn't it? Babes in Dentureland. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what number is that? That's one eighty-eight. Is the Denture Babes 188. with both of us on it? Yeah, so yeah. you can get a little catch us up. So uh, Mackenzie, you started doing uh, commissions. Yeah, I've just been really gotten into digital art. You know, I've yeah. always been really, you know, into art and drawing and you've painting been and doing watercolor. I mean, you've I been don't do <laughs> tattoos. No, you've been designing tattoos is what no, I meant to say. No, but I've definitely been designing yeah. more tattoos for people, especially people in the industry who really just want dental-themed art, yeah. right? I'm not going to – I'm not a portrait artist or anything not like yet. that. No, no, no. I don't think that will ever happen. But – I stick with my niche, you know, Mm -hmm. but that's been going really well. Thank you for asking. But I'm really excited to be here. As you said earlier, Ivo Clar sponsored us and brought us here, which I'm so grateful for. I'm actually terrified of flying. So this has been, we held hands. We held, Janelle and I held hands on the flight, which I thank you for that. But I did really well. You know, yeah. I'm also excited to go home. Let's talk about this event for a second because yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't know that it existed prior to this. I this didn't is know. This the second year that right. this is. And I thought this was the first year, so I'm also really excited to learn that this is the second year, mm-hmm. which means that it's going strong if this is just only getting bigger. Oh, it's just the beginning. Mm-hmm. Just to see so many women in one place that are all on the same mission, I think. We're all on the same mission to just do better, be better, mm-hmm. and support each other yeah. Yeah. because I think we're just tired of the bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that can go a million different ways, but take that however you want. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just honored to be a part of it. Yeah. 100% honored to be a part of it. I've never felt more confident just to walk around, yeah. you know, a, a group of women. Yeah. yeah. Let alone a group of women in the same industry as myself. Yeah. Which it can be very intimidating, mm-hmm. you know. So it's really nice to have all of this support when, again, it's such an intimidating environment a lot yeah. of the times. Mm-hmm. So now, I, like I was saying earlier, mm-hmm. I could feel like I can go back now to my lab and really start putting into play a lot of the things I learned here. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of really exciting changes in the future. There were some great speakers as well this week. Yes, there were. One was Mary Valentine. I yeah. was going to say. I've never met her before. If I have, maybe I don't rem- remember, you know, at Lab Day and passing. Um, so hectic. But this is my first year actually meeting her and learning about her. And I'm s- I just can't wait to go to her lab. She invited me out to... She is so warm and welcoming. Yes. She has horses. Oh, she has horses. She, has she horses. works in a barn, she was saying? Or she works... <laughs> she has a barn? Above a barn. She works above, above a barn. Above a yeah, barn. they like Absolutely renovated a amazing. barn. And, and she works with her daughter, yes. Emily. Yes, it's like right. a family affair. It's, it's, it's small, but also at the same time they have mills, they have printers, you know, so they're doing big cases. I'm just really excited to learn more about them and... They just seem like a really, really good, good and group. And her story was beautiful yes. as well. Uh, she was Everyone's saying very that, motivating. Yeah, she was sick for the last 10 years on and off. And he, I'm so glad that I got to meet her and that she's here today and she's well. Yes, and, and successful. And her presentation was amazing. Her story was amazing. And just, yep. you know, and every woman here that's spoken 
and every woman that I've met so far has been so welcoming, so supportive. I have never had more compliments than I've had this weekend. Yes. I'm sure we're, <laughs> we've been complimenting each other all weekend. Yeah. I've never been so hyped up in my life. I, yeah. I've been wearing shorts in public, which is something I've never done since I've uh, <laughs> got that out. like 11 years old. <laughs> Round of applause for Mackenzie. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. I really want to put that out into the world, those good vibes that yeah. I let my thighs breathe for the first time in, you know, they think 15 years. They think that's baby. Yeah. That's I feel really problem. good about it. Thank this you. This is a conversation that me and Nina had in Chicago. It's, as a society and as women, we have a really hard time accepting compliments. Yes. yes. And actually just being like, like I feel dirty you. when I take them. I'm like, Thank no, I, I, don't, I don't deserve oh, it. Oh, you apologize. You're yeah. like, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, so yeah. 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 I'm sorry that you felt like you had to exactly. give me a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. And we either feel like we have to compliment them back Mm-hmm. You know, or we feel guilty, yeah. or if, if you know they compliment us and <clears throat> excuse me, and we say thank you, then we feel bad, like we're accepting a compliment. It's like when you take a picture and you don't know what to do with your hands; you're kind of yeah. just yeah. staring off. And <laughs> and this weekend has been the first time where I felt where I, that I can accept a compliment and give one back genuinely, and I felt such warmth and comfort yeah. being mm-hmm. with all of you and all the women that have been here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to Ladies of the Mill for that. You guys did yeah, an amazing thank you job. For having us. Yeah, you guys did an amazing job, and you brought a convention together that never existed before. Yeah. You brought an idea to life. This is the most yeah. comfortable environment I've ever been in at a dental convention of yeah. any kind. Yeah, Normally, 100%. I'm very intimidated and uncomfortable, mm-hmm. and I'm not just saying because there's men everywhere. You know, of course. It's, it's the vibes. It's the, mm-hmm. the pressure to be a certain way. And yeah. There's no pressure like that here. I think yeah. it also helps that it's small. It, yeah, you're, you're not it's intimate. Exactly. It's intimate. But yeah. you know. at the same time, you know this is going to grow. Oh, yeah. And we have it to expect will. that. It's and I think that every woman here it? should expect that because yeah. this mm. once, I feel like once this keeps getting out there, I know, oh, I know so many women that are already jealous that they're not here. Yeah. 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 So. Saying that they'll be coming next yep. year for sure. Yep. A yep. lot of people have been messaging me on Instagram saying, I'm coming next year. You guys look like you're having a lot of fun. So this convention brought together a bunch of very talented people. We've all been learning from each other. Like, I'm really into photography. And again, like from Yuna's course, I've learned a lot that I didn't even know. So, um, you know, I'm grateful for that. Don't go and Google it. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 I'm I'm sure. I'm sure the information is more than correct. And you're right. It's a very intimate environment. Like Chicago was a lot of fun, right? We were all here in Chicago, yeah, or yeah. most yeah. of us. Yeah. Most of us, or all of us, have yeah. been in, we're in Chicago. And it's a huge convention. It's, yes. ve- it's, it's very so much fun. I was going to say, it's mm. very over- overwhelming. It is overwhelming in the fact that, especially if you want to take classes or courses, and you're running all over the building, and you're looking for it, because you're, you're working with three stories of area to be and it is hard and like jill was saying she wants to keep this super intimate she was very passionate about that and she wants everyone to be together and have that sisterly vibe and have Mm -hmm. that love for each other and she doesn't want to split up but like we say like it's gonna grow and that is definitely gonna happen i i hope it doesn't ever get to the point where we're on two different floors having six different classes at the same time you know we'll just have to re- recommend they split it up and like have one during one time in hawaii maybe oh, yeah. Yeah. and then another one in, you know maybe yeah, make it down <laughs> smaller, yeah. smaller yeah. little intimate ones yeah. you know in tropical see, yeah i would love to see more hands-on courses <laughs> in the future Ooh, yes yeah, yeah right cool. especially well, ones more geared to to our types of uh, yeah. smaller female-owned businesses mm-hmm. and things like that. And yeah. I think Danny's yeah. ready to give her own hands-on course. Oh, my God. I would love give to see that. Time. Give me time, ladies. Yeah. I mean, time do you need? <laughs> <laughs> I will for sure in the future be doing something like that, hopefully. Um, but what courses would you guys like to see? Like, what, what do you want to learn if you were if there was hands-on courses in the, in the future here? I'd More like to see... Work. Wax you want work. to see more waxwork? I do. So I you want, want to see a hands-on, in-my-face waxwork. Like, I want the option to be, guys, bring a setup, and we're going to work together. Okay. Like okay. The, like, like a that. composite class where you bring a case and you do composite. You know, like, I think that would be another great option. And I want anybody to be able to come. I don't want it to have to be, like, a paid-for thing. Yeah. I think it should be bring what you want to work on. We can practice on this. And like I said, the same with wax and composite. I think that would be cool. I think that would be um, cool. Obviously, it's going to be different for everybody because we're all in different facets of this industry. But 
for me, that would be something I would enjoy. Yeah, and I mean, the, our profession's going really digital, right? right? So would you guys want to see more analog work a little bit? Would you want to bring that back, or do you want to, are, are you guys all in That's on really digital? That's really tough to, to say. Yeah. No, I think I would like digital. I would see, I would like to see something that it's more than what I'm doing. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something that, uh, I don't say the digital is perfect and stuff. We all have our idea how this digital denture looks and how they feel and whatever. But I think I would like to know a little bit more about it. Yeah. You know? Because why not? That's where the industry is going. So we have to keep up with the time if we, li- if we like it or not. No? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I miss analog. I, we, I got into this profession right at that switch. Me too. Right? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to go to dental conventions and they would be selling like brushes right and now i go to a dental convention they're selling mills and yes. i'm like well yeah <laughs> that's a little bit out of my uh yeah. budget right yeah. Yeah. a little bit out of my price range but it's strange to be seeing so much digital i'm really happy about it though i do miss some analog work i miss waxing up teeth that so i think a little bit cool. of both is good you know i'd like to see some conversion classes and things like that some some more generalized casework that yeah i think would really benefit maybe people who are more shy about getting into other parts of the industry yeah. and other things like that. And all on X is huge now. It so is. There's going to be is. lots of And that's just something courses. that a lot of us are not familiarized with, you know, mm-hmm. going in. And I'd like to see a lot of younger people learning more. It's mm-hmm. gnarly. Yeah. I think it needs to be geared towards some starters. Like, I don't think it needs... I think people feel like these are for people that are, yes. you know, been doing this forever. But it's not that. That's not the case. The, there is new faces so out true. there just learning. And don't feel intimidated to come... Don't feel like you have to know everything just to come and learn new things. Like, right. be open. That's what I like about this particular convention for that reason. That intimacy and the feeling that you don't really have to know what, what they're talking about necessarily yeah. to, to be there and to actually try to learn. Whereas some courses can be very intimidating because you read what they're all about and you're like, well, I don't really know where to begin. Right. right. So I was always constantly looking for beginners courses, beginners, even though I wasn't a beginner because I was afraid that I was going to learn stuff that was way out of my element. Right. Um, and I probably missed out a lot for that. So I'd like to see yeah. some courses that are wide open and say right on that. Maybe, you know, you don't have to know everything. Yeah. You know, we welcome everybody. Yeah. And you know, at this convention, what I've noticed is that you I don't know how to say this nicely, but you don't feel stupid. You know, everybody admitted that we don't know what the hell we're doing some of the time. Yeah. I mean, we're all professionals. We're all educated professionals, but we sometimes we're not sure of ourselves. Right. We don't know what we're doing. What I'd like to point out is that every single one of the presenters that I've spoken with said they were anxious. They didn't want to do it. They were stressed. They were trying to get out of speaking. Yeah. Is that me just 500 times? Every, no, <laughs> it was everyone. It was. And we're all you in know, the same boat. We're all the same. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you how anxious I've been a million times over. And you guys have all been proud or one way or another. And yeah. the same with you. We're, I, we're so proud of you. <laughs> and everyone was moved by every single speaker. Right? And it's just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm even going with this. I was I'm just like, we all very, have that proud yeah. mom moment. Like, we don't have to have a story like Kelly's, but we all started at the bottom, and we yeah. all worked up, and mm-hmm. we're all proud of each other as sisters. And why can't and, we be? You know, why, yeah. we've got to start talking about That's this That's going stuff. back to what you were saying about compliments. Like, why can't we just Accept be? Them. Yeah, why mm-hmm. do we have to doubt This ourselves? is turning into, like, the craziest therapy session Elvis is going to have yeah. to go through. <laughs> I think he was like, wait, write it down. <laughs> well, this yeah. is learning so much about yeah, women about right him. now. He's like, write down that. Checked. <laughs> yeah, and going back to what Mary was saying uh, in her um, presentation, even she has so many years in the business, she has so much experience, and even she was saying, like, every one of us gets nervous, and every one of us has moments where we don't feel like we're enough, right? Especially yeah. in a, a male-dominated uh, industry. Yeah. So w- if someone as experienced as Mary feels this, I mean, we have every right Can to feel this way. Can you imagine? I just can't even. Do you guys feel like there's a shift? Do you feel like there's a shift in the industry? I'm hoping that there is. It feels like that's kind of the direction that's going. I'm 90% hoping. of everybody who I deal with, it's women. Yeah. All the reps, all of the managers, all of the people running stuff, 90% of people who I interact with are women. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, the industry is changing. It's growing. Um, it's definitely a little bit more balanced now. 
right? Before it was very male dominated. And looking back, actually, even when I was in school, I was in school in between uh, 2014 and 2017. And there was, I mean, most of my class was women kind of looking back. So there's definitely a shift. Hmm. And I hope it uh, keeps shifting, right? I hope there's a little bit of uh, more of equal ground. That's one of the biggest questions that the two of you guys get asked, Janelle and Mackenzie, is how did you start? Did you go to school? Did yes. you, you know, those, those are the things. But the only two people that are here talking right now that actually went to school with this is you two, Danny. Yeah. yeah. No, but I mean, like, you don't have to go to school. No. We're still educated professionals regardless of whether or not we went to school. It's a trade. Yeah. It's a trade. It you don't need and to go to school. Most of the techs I know are didn't go to school but they're still educated professionals they still take courses right they still learn from each other mm-hmm. they contact other professionals right. they set up a composite table in their dining room yeah <laughs> like yeah. a psycho at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and and you've learned and you've taught and you, yeah. i mean i'm still learning yeah. you know we're every f-ing day from you guys right we yeah. have we have a lack for techs in the u.s mm-hmm. and but in the UK as well. But we don't have anybody out there repping and going to schools and talking to kids and telling them this is an option. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. I was in my 30s when I started yeah. anything in the dental industry. Really? Like, I yeah, 2017. That. Girl. Yes. Oh, I like, so, You're yeah. dominating. So, like, I knew nothing. Like, I knew nothing of this world. I didn't even know this was an I didn't an option. I didn't question yeah. where these things came from. Like, yeah, no one I, does. Nobody does. And so I think it's really important if because we are we're dry. We're dry in this area. Like we need techs. We need people to come to this industry and if we don't start making it known that it's an option, then I don't feel like we're going to get what we need. I agree. Um, and I think social media is helping. Are, yeah, social yeah. media is definitely helping. And I think that the digital world is going to help because a lot of kids are, you know, so digitally inclined and they're so much more comfortable with that aspect. Whereas I think our age group are super hands-on and we love that part of our job. And yeah. I think that that's going to be something that we're going to miss going more digital um, compared to those kids that are like super okay with being right. digital yeah. and that's it. They yeah. were born into they it, right? love that Tech shit. savvy and I'm just not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were kind of, you know, in that period of transition of change, yeah. Yeah. right? I mean, we're lucky that we can still learn, and there's, uh, we, I'm, we're lucky to have uh, social media to learn from each other. I mean, we've all met each other off social media. I think if you mm-hmm. use it the right way, yeah, you could benefit from it greatly mm-hmm. yeah. as an individual and as, you know, a yeah. business. And, and Kelly was saying earlier in her speech as well that it's a necessary evil. And I think that really that really caught my attention because it is. Uh, I was never really into social media. I never posted. I was kind of always lurking. Yeah. But it's a necessary evil it in is. this profession. It's a great way to get more young people in the business. Like, yeah. t- I'm not on TikTok, but I've seen these dental technicians TikToks and they're, they blow they're up. They blow up. And yeah. I'm hoping that in all of that, there's someone that, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to school for that because that looks cool as hell, you know? Yeah. And maybe I'll hire him one day. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we've all learned and uh, social media, I mean, we all met each other there and we're all here because of social media Mm -hmm. and because we show our work and we talk and we learn from each other. And I mean, we we message each other all the time with questions and Mm -hmm. I'm like, we're so lucky to have that, right? Because I remember like my my dad's been in tech for over like 35 years. Yeah. And he didn't have that. And when he started, no. nobody helped him. Back then, it was they a wouldn't secret. share it. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because it was a, a tight trade. Not many people were doing it. And yep. And, and it, look what happened. She dried up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. He, he, like, he couldn't learn from anyone. Yeah. Maybe if you paid them. And even then. They were teaching you the, the roundabout way to do things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were teaching you uh, the bare minimum. Yeah. So the fact that I could at any time message any of you ladies with any questions, and right. I know that you have my back. You know, sharing those videos, people look at videos, I think they're a silly video I'm making, and people are commenting, I never knew that. I yeah. didn't know I could do that. Right. And I'm like, exactly. really? Information you know? that you take for granted. That exactly. You think is, like, and I'm like, just sharing it freely with these other technicians, hoping that, yeah. Oh, whereas, cool. you, know, you know, I just like, gave them a shortcut, or I gave them, you know. Right. Whereas 20, 30 years ago, God forbid, you give away this kind of information because you're making competition for yourself and uh, people were nervous. So back then, techs just had to figure it out, you know, Mm -hmm. and now we have like this amazing platform of people 
that support each other and that we're not scared of competition. We want to work together. Yeah. There is no competition. I'm me, you are you. you yeah. Know, we are two yeah. different people with two different goals, with two different ideas. Yeah. We are not losing by supporting each other. We are gaining. We are getting exactly. friends. We are getting knowledge. So longer gone those times that uh, we will be competing. Yeah. Because we don't want to be like the old generation. No. We want to no. be a new breakthrough generation that does not gatekeep information because, I mean, nobody can be me. <laughs> so yeah, I can, so you know true. what I mean? So yeah. we should just try and be supportive of each other a little bit more. Yeah. We give it all. You got the best out of us, Elvis. So thank you for Voices from the Bench for having us. And thank you again to Ladies of the Mill. I yeah. I know the and Ivor Clark. And Ivor Clark. And Alex Dent. <laughs> no, but thank you to Ladies of the Mill for hosting this and yes. for having us. It's a great and experience. I would definitely do it again. Yeah, again definitely. and again. And I hope to. Uh, I'm Danny Farago. I'm Mackenzie Mayer. Janelle Tabakovich. Katie Boatler. Nina Fercatin. And we're signing out. <laughs> Bye. 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 Have you unlocked your dental laboratory's potential through 3D printing? Well, with the Astiga, you can. Did you know Astiga has over 500 validated materials on their open material system? And it's growing every day? By harnessing Astiga's proprietary layer monitoring technology with its smart positioning system and its integrated internal radiometer, as a laboratory, you'll be able to produce any indication you desire. It doesn't care if you models, splints, temporaries, or heck, even permanent crowns. Your investment will be future-proof with the Sega's rugged engineering, providing you with a fast, accurate, and repeatable machine with a reputation that is time-tested in the dental laboratory industry. If you'd like to learn more about the Sega's machine or the material offerings, please visit the website at asiga.com. That's A-S-I-G-A dot com. Or contact your favorite dental reseller. And we appreciate your support of the podcast, Asiga. All right. So a big thanks to, I'll say it again, Elvis said it first, Carrie, Sandra, Courtney, Danny, Mackenzie, Janelle, Nina, and Katie. God, I'm sorry I missed it, but it looked like <laughs> and sounded like an amazing meeting. Next year, I will be there, Elvis, I promise. I got to check the meeting out and make sure I don't make any vacation plans. Go ahead and set the date so we can get Barb lined up. All right. <laughs> Book the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I do love hearing about all of the females in our industry thriving and getting better at what they do. And thanks to Preet for allowing Elvis to record. And a nice job, ladies, for recording without Elvis. I think we might have some podcast competition. Uh Just saying. Don't let them keep doing that. (laughs) I am super sorry that I missed the meeting. I'll be sure to be there next year because I only imagine it's going to get better and better and better. All right, everybody. That's all we got for you. And we will talk to you next week. Bye. Have a great week. Bye. So I set everything up and I walked away, which I already read that. <laughs> <laughs>